What's up, Hockey Cards fans? S2H back in action once again, and today we have 24 packs of 2017-2018 Upper Deck Series 1 hunting that infamous Brock Besser Young Guns that apparently is a tough pull. I haven't seen a lot of them pulled on YouTube, and I have yet to pull one myself. I've opened a fair bit of this product, uh, mostly retail when it comes to this product, because until this year, a lot of the rookies weren't... Uh, Selling that good, didn't have a ton of value in the hobby, but now Pierre-Luc Dubois took a pretty big jump. Carlo Yamamoto has took a pretty big jump. Um, and, of course, Brock Besser himself has taken a pretty big jump this year. So, let's get into it. There are some other really good Young Guns you can get. You can get Alex Brinkett Young Guns Canvas. You can get all kinds of nice stuff. I believe I've seen the uh, Card Collector. I forget what his full YouTube name is. The Card Collector 215 or something like that. Pull a Brinkett Young Guns Canvas out of a mystery box. So, that was pretty cool to see. And it's a really good design this year's Young Guns Canvases. Uh, the Young Guns Canvases for this product are one in every 48, so one in every two boxes because there's 24 packs in this box. And um, you get a jersey card as well in every one of these boxes. You can pull a ceremonial puck drop card, which is one in every 2,500. A uh, day with the cup card. Oh, there's no seal on that. A day with the cup card, which is one in every 5,000. Um, there are some nice cards you can pull out of this. 1819 has the best day with the cup card, though. Uh, the Alex Ovechkin day with the cup. I'm just going to take these packs out. Because unlike a hobby box, you can't just fold the lid down and make it look all nice. The way a hobby box does. Okay, let's get into it. 24 packs of fun right there. Yeah, like I said, this product didn't have a ton of value until this year, but it's really, really catching this year. I'm seeing a lot more breakers on YouTube um, doing it. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, the, the hot... The, the hobby in general is just booming. But let's go with pack number one. Now, as far as the jersey cards go, they're usually on the top, from what I can see. Usually the first four packs, the jersey card gets pulled. So, first pack. Actually, I'm not even going to look for the young guns. We'll just go for it. We'll just go right into it. Get right into it. And I also don't have a ton of memory on my phone as well. Oh, fix my focus. There you go. Uh, Brett Seabrook. Brent Seabrook just recently retired due to injuries. Uh, great player. Him and Duncan Keith are legends in Chicago. Get just focus in a little bit. Better for you guys. Lee Stepniak, Darren Helm, ooh, a James Van Riemsdyk, who's uh, playing pretty good with Philly right now. I have him on my fantasy hockey team. Shining Stars, a uh, Troy Stetcher, Max Domi, uh, Riley Shahan, and Cam Ward. So we should get a Shining Stars defenseman in this as well. I believe they're one in every 24 packs. And JVR definitely isn't a, isn't a defenseman. He would be a, uh, a winger. Pack number two. Let's jump. Ricard Raquel, Arturi Lekkinen, Colton Seviar, Blake Kumu. A base pack of Ka Kali Ambrook, Lee Uncle Leo, Leo Komarov. Hold these cards better. Corey Perry, who's playing pretty damn well with my Habs lately. I must say, I can't believe that guy cleared waivers. And Mikel Brodker. A lot of base, a lot of base in those retail boxes. Same as the hobby, but just find there's so much base. Well, you're not going to get uh, retail packs in hobby, so I guess there isn't as much base in hobby. Uh, Tobias Roder Reader, Ian Cole, Jeff Petrie on fire this year, could potentially even win in Norris. Jack Eichel, and our first Young Guns is, I have a bunch of this guy's Young Guns, Lucas Walmark. I'm not sure what the correlation is who he comes with, which makes it more exciting on my end. Uh, Patrick Laine, Scott Wilson, and Nikolai Kulamin. You're going to see a lot of these players in their old jerseys, the old teams they're with. Because a lot of these players, this is 17, 18, so this is a good, like, four years back. You're, a lot of these players aren't with these teams anymore. Like JVR, Laine, guys like that. Do we have our jersey? No, I thought we had our jersey just then. Michael Matheson, Mikel Frolik, Clark MacArthur. We have a canvas. It's not a Young Guns canvas. It's just a... <laughs> Look at that grill right there. Now, that's a face only a mother could love, but I'm sure there are plenty of women out there that love it. <laughs> Jeff Carter. What a grill. I'll lay the young guns off the side, actually. Not really worried about sleeving that one. Zidane O'Chara. Mitch Marner. Great, great shot of Marner there. Braden Holtby. And Patrick Berglund. Here we go again. Come on with the Brock Besser. That's what I. That's what I'm really hoping for. I. I don't know what it is with that guy's young guns, but I've watched a ton of breaks on this on YouTube, and I think I've seen like two pulled, like hobby boxes, retail, you name it, man. It's. I don't know what is up with his young guns. Maybe it's just 
the luck of the breakers on YouTube, but it seems like he's a really tough pull. Alex Golikoski. Let me get this to focus in a bit better. That shimmer is coming in from the window. Taylor Hall. Rick Nash. Jay Beagle. Nick Holden. Dennis Savard. David Savard, who is really good in fantasy hockey. Puts up a ton of blocks and hits. Joe Thornton. Jumbo Joe. And Brandon Carlo. And Joe Thornton, of course, in the San Jose jersey there. He is now a Toronto Maple Leaf, unfortunately, because I really like Joe Thornton, but I am the farthest thing from a Leafs fan. But they are having a good deal this year. JT Miller. Jaden Schwartz, I think we got our first portrait coming up, Rasmus Ristolainen, and Jacob Voracek, who had a pretty good game for Philly last night, Josh Morrissey, Adam Henrique, Evgeny Malkin, and Gustav Nyquist, Philly got blown out bad by the uh, Rangers the game before last, seven goals in the second period, lost nine to nothing, so uh, that's pretty rough, but they came back and won the next game in a in dramatic fashion. They had to score in the last two minutes to get that win. They were up 3 to nothing. It was a really good game last night. Richard Panic, Calvin Hahn, Stephen Johns, Paul Stastny, who's playing great this year for Winnipeg. Our next young gun is Riley Barber. So, uh, yeah, I think he was a prospect, for, or he played for the Habs for a little bit, or was in the AHL for him, if I'm not mistaken. Because I'm almost sure I have an uh, ice premiere of him. But it, it wasn't Montreal, but somebody told me he played for Montreal, or I've seen him playing for Montreal. But anyways, Mikel Granlund, Corey Crawford, and Sebastian Ajo. I'll stop rambling. So two young ones in, and so far not the best young ones. That is the risk with this crop, because there are, even though the value has jumped on some, it's only a few. It's a select few it has jumped on. Wayne Simmons, Matt Niskanen, Philippe Forsberg, a cat. Oh, is this? No, never mind. A canvas of Cali Yonkrock, pretty cool looking canvas right there. Adam Larson from the Taylor Hall trade. Ryan Kessler, Kerry Price, stud right there. And Derek McKenzie. Getting down through it, we're already two young guns in. Nazem Kadri, no longer with the Leafs, with the Avs now. Thomas Grice, Jason Spezza, Roberto Luongo. Ooh, a red shining stars of Jeff Carter, nice. So our other shining stars was who again? JVR. We got red shining stars of Jeff Carter. So I still think we're going to do the defenseman one. Simeon Verlamov, Oliver ekman Larson, and Matt Murray. The rarer shining stars are the black ones, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they're the rarest ones. Miles Wood, Seth Jones, Jacob Slavin, Jonas Brodeen, Paul Byron, who was recently put on waivers himself, Jake McCabe, Vinny Trocek, and Mikhail Backland. Almost halfway through the box. That's pack number 11 here, if I'm not mistaken. Cam Fowler, Carl Acapozo, Brian Little. We have a young guns of <laughs> Philip Sheedle. He's, he's playing better. He's not, not the biggest name, but he's playing better. Philip Sheedle, Derek Broussard. Christian uh, Dvorak, Travis Ajak, and Kevin Hayes. So far, it's been a pretty weak box. I'm just grateful to have something to open, to be honest. I haven't been able to get my hands on anything. I ordered this from 401 Games. Pretty decent price, too. Uh, Pecorine, Carl Haglund, Anthony Mantha, Brandon Suter, a portrait of Ryan Getzlaff. Separate my inserts from my base there. The base is getting a bit out of hand. John Carlson. Austin Matthews, pretty cool card there. And Jonathan Huberto. I'm going to move, move some of this base off to the side because a lot of it is in the way here. Throw it out of the way so we can get through the next half. And the giant box of base I got. Okay, next half of the blaster. Or of the retail box, I should say. Ooh, our jersey card. There we go. We got our jersey card coming up at least. Hopefully it's a good one because this box has been pretty weak so far. Ryan Hartman, Casey Zizekas, Tyler Sagan, Sean Monahan, P.K. Subban, and our jersey card. Oh, Mr. Six Points there the other night. Mika Sabanajad, jersey card. Just a white jersey piece. I, hope, I would prefer a blue or something with the Rangers, but game use jersey right there. Sweet. That's actually really nice. I really like that jersey card. Yeah, up here. So that's our jersey card out of the way. Good player, too. Always going to be a good player in a jersey card. 
Henrik Zetterberg, Miko Rantanen, Andre Vasilevsky, Radic Fax, uh, a canvas of Brandon Dubinsky. So we got one more canvas to go. Hopefully it's a Young Guns canvas. Alex Kilhorn, Dale Weiss. He has a pretty cool podcast uh, lately. And uh, Nicholas Badstrom, uh, Backstrom. I forget what the name of Weiss's podcast is, but he, t he has a lot of inside locker room talk. Uh, it's mainly about the Habs and Flyers and stuff. But, uh, yeah, Weiss is... Uh, Weiss's podcast is pretty cool. Lars Eller, Paul Martin, Joel Ward. Oh, a young, nice. That's a good one right there. Charlie McAvoy, Young Guns. He's having a great year this year, too, for Boston. Big Z's gone, but he's still playing really well. Charlie McAvoy, Matthias Ekholm, William Nylander, Brady Shea, and Carrie Lettinen. So not the weakest box. It was looking pretty bad, but we at least got one of those names that people are going to want when they open this stuff. Because there's only... Five, maybe six names people really want in uh, Series 1 of this year. Anze Kopitar, Travis Konecki, Mark andre Fleury, Nick Dowd. Another show, oh, a shining stars of Connor McDavid. Nice. It's a beauty little insert there. Alec Martinez, Pavel Zaka, and Zach Wierenski. Come on, let's get some bangers at the end. We still got two young ones to go. Let's save the best for last. Let's get some really nice ones here at the end. Leon Dreisaitl, Braden Point, who's having a great year this year, Tyson Berry, Adam Lowry, Jordan Stahl, who himself is having a good year this year, a Matt Dumba triple card, I don't really consider them anything, a Kevin Bieksa, and Matt Molson. I believe you get one of those uh, triple variants like every other box. I've pulled them out of blasters. They don't really have much value, but they're different looking than the base. Uh, Braden McNabb, Kyle Bodziak, Mikel Grabner, a portrait of Vinny Trocek, so I believe that's our last portraits. Drake Kajulia, Jason Zucker, another triple of Anthony Bovillier. I have like 10 of those. Shea Weber, his triple is in like every other box of this. Triple variations or triple variants or something they're called. Some people find him cool, I guess. Brandon Dubinsky, Jake Guznetzel, Gensel, excuse me, Brad Marchand, a Series 1 checklist. So is that our insert in this? No, a Young Guns of <laughs> Andreas Borgman. Womp, womp, womp. Nothing special there with Borgman. Uh, Antoine Roussel, Troy Brower, and Kevin Fiala. Kevin Fiala is now with the uh, Minnesota Wild. Not, no longer with Nashville as well. Henrik Sedin. Come on, Young Guns canvas. Dustin Brown. Ivan Provorov. Luke Glendening, Nathan McKinnon, Anton Strahlman, and another triple of Dan Hamu. So I guess I was wrong. It's more than one in every box. Wow, there's a bunch of those. TJ Brody, Lucas Sedlak, Charlie Coyle, David Backus. Oh, a Young Guns canvas. Nice. Finally got a Young Guns canvas of Alex Tuck. Sweet. That's a good name, too. I forgot he was even in this. Alex Tuck, Young Guns Canvas. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to lay him over in the Young Guns pile. Sweet. Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Alex Petroangelo, and Justin Braun. That deserves a sleeve. Petroangelo, or uh, Tuck deserves, McAvoy does too, actually. But this definitely deserves a sleeve. Young Guns Canvas of Alex Tuck. Beauty card right there. And where are you to, McAvoy? We'll sleeve you up too. Sleeve this bad boy up too. Don't want to have them corners rubbing off other cards and stuff. And where I'm shifting around my table and my camera. You never know. You never know. Any little ding will affect the grade. Charlie McAvoy. Sweet. Good condition too. Let me see the condition of these cards. Never really took a good look at them. Sharp corners. Top edging is... No, top edging is good. Just a little bit glossy. It looked rough for a second, but it's just a little bit glossy. Re really good condition card, I must say. And, of course, the canvases are, unless they're miscut, they're almost always great condition. The canvases are the best for grading. Now, I don't believe the Young Guns canvas counts against our, against our Young Guns count. If it was a checklist, it might, because uh, I've had the checklist count to get to my Young Guns count before, but I don't believe the canvases do. Uh, we got Jonathan T Toes. Jonathan Taves. <laughs> to I just call him Toes. Jonathan Taves. Uh, Zach Parise. John Gabriel Pajot, rookie mistake there with the Taves, column toes. Uh, Matt Stajan, D 
Derek Forber, who was playing really good in Winnipeg and really good for me in fantasy hockey, as far as defensively goes and hits and physical, this guy's a beast. Uh, Valtteri Filippula, that picture kills me. This is one of the funniest looking uh, cards. Jason Garrison, this guy looks like he's about to get picked last in gym class. <laughs> Trevor Lewis. Oh, two packs left. Come on, let's get some last, second last pack mojo or last pack mojo. We're going to save the best young guns for last. Hopefully so. Matthew Benning, Dion Phaneuf, Andre Sakura, and the young guns of, oh, baby, the first overall pick that year. Now, he's not as good as a Besser or anything like that, but still a good, good young player. And Nico Heischer, young guns. Definitely not going to complain about that. Mark Latestu. Nikita Kucherov, Carl Soderberg, and Blake Wheeler. Throw him in his sleeve as well. I seen the Jer New Jersey at first, and I totally forgot he was in this as well. And I was like, oh, this is going to be some uh, some no-name young gun. Nope. Nico Heischer. Nice. Now, as far as value goes, I don't think he's worth... I'm not sure what he's worth. Maybe $20 or something, but still, he's a good one to have as far as potential goes. Because so I can see him definitely getting better. He's already pretty good as it is. Last pack is probably going to be a base pack. Jared Spurgeon, Andy Green, Philip Deneau, Boone Jenner, and a UD Portraits of Josh Hosang. One of Zeri's favorites right there. Josh Hosang. Hasn't really done much in the league yet, but still a bit of potential there with Hosang. Uh, Jimmy VC, Jake Allen, has backup now. Great young, great player. And Zach Bogosian, who's with the Sen uh, Leafs now, I believe. So, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty solid box, I must say. We got some top young guns out of it. We got a top young guns canvas. We'll go through the basic inserts first, and then we'll review the young guns. So, yeah, very, very solid box. I was happy with that. We, fix my focus. We have a Josh Hosang UD Rookie Portraits. That was our only rookie portrait. A Vinny Trocek UD Portraits. A Shining Stars of Conor McGregor. If you're, or Conor McDavid, excuse me. If you're going to get a regular insert, you're going to want it to be McDavid. So, uh. Shining Stars with David, a Brandon Dubinsky UD Canvas, a Ryan Getzlaff UD Portraits, a Jeff Carter Shining Stars, Red Shining Stars, so that's a harder one to pull, a Cali Yarncroc UD Canvas, Jakob Vorchek UD Portraits, <laughs> this, this freaking picture, man, I love it. <laughs> what if this guy showed, you up to, showed up to take you on your prom date? Oh, God. I don't know. I'd kick him off my doorstep and reserve for my daughter. Jeff Carter. <laughs> God, love him. James Van Riemsdyk. And Mr. Six Points uh, two games ago against Philly. Tearing it up. He wasn't having the best year, but with those six points, definitely helps. Mika Zibanejad, game day jersey. But let's get into the main event. What everybody watches, especially with a retail box. What everybody's truly watching for. A lot of people are probably going to skip right to the end for the review anyways. And not have to hear my voice the entire video. Um, Nick... Frick my bomb, Missouri would say. There you go. There's better focus. Nico Heischer. Beauty. Beauty. Nico Heischer was a beauty hit. Charlie McAvoy. Another beauty hit right there. Then we got a couple basic young guns. More of the uh, lower end guys. Uh, I'd call them B, C tier guys. Compared to the A tier. Like uh, Heischer and Dubois and Tuck. Uh, Philip Scheidel. Raleigh Barber. Lucas Walmark. And Andres Borgman. And my favorite hit of this box, I said I wanted it, but the whole while I was opening the box pretty much, I mentioned it a bunch of times that I wanted a Young Guns canvas. Look at the look of that canvas. I love the look from this year. I don't have many Young Guns canvases from this year, but what a freaking beautiful look. The back is gorgeous. And Alex Tuck, Young Guns canvas. Very, very good condition. So anyways, guys, that was a 24-pack break of 2017-2018 Series 1. Uh, keep an eye out for my upcoming videos. I got some Series 2, uh, the upcoming Series 2, 2021, 2020, uh, 2021, Series 2 retail and some Series 2 hobby pre-ordered. And I also have some 2018, 19 Series 1 on the way as well. So keep an eye out for those videos. And if I get my hands on anything else, I'll be doing more breaks as well. This is S2H. Have a great day and stay safe wherever you're to, folks. Enjoy your breaks. Enjoy your hockey cards. Over and out.